so as you can see by the title, this is going to be a bought it but forgot it kind of video, I guess. I've seen Casey Holmes do a video like this a very, very, very long time ago. And it's basically just sharing with you some products that I either received as presents, that I purchased myself, or any of the case like that, that I forgot about them. So if you want to see what products I forgot that I'm going to start currently losing, using again, then just continue watching. So I put everything in this tart box here, it's just an old box. Uh, basically, these are just products that I know that I have, that I've overpassed because I've used other things, not maybe better than them, but I just forgot about them. And as watching certain, you, as watching YouTubers and going through my makeup collection and stuff like that, I started to realize, hey, I remember that eyeshadow palette when I first got it and I loved it and now I don't use it anymore. So um, I want to start using these products again because A, I never really used them before and B, I have them so might as well use them. So the first thing I have here is an eyeshadow palette and this is from Essence and this is the Sunrise palette. And as you can see it has six shades. You have a peachy tone, a gray tone, a rose gold, a brown, uh, this is more of a just a silver and right here like in yellow gold so I have these shades here and I'll swatch them for you so here's the shades right here they are really 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 buttery they're so nice and silky smooth the thing about this eyeshadow palette is that I just really didn't I don't really know what kind of looks come up with this so if you guys have any ideas then let me know I've mainly just used this color here and that is an eyeshadow palette that I actually do want to get to use again the next thing is Stila's Kitten. I absolutely love this eyeshadow. I feel like I forget about this at least twice a year. Like I'll use it for a couple of months and then I'll forget it again. This is just one of those eyeshadows that it's perfect for an all over the lid, brow bone color. I even highlight for the face, which I'm using for right now. I love this. And this is from Stila. I love this eyeshadow and it is something that I definitely need to grab out of my makeup collection, dust it off and start using it again. The next thing is an eyeshadow that actually I'm wearing today, as you can see a little bit. This is from Sugar Pill, and I got this about a year ago at IMATS. I never tried any Sugar Pill products before, so I decided to give them a try, and I picked up this beautiful eyeshadow called Kitten Parade. So it's just like a pinky red tone kind of color with some gold undertones to it. There it is right there. Can't really see it that much. Okay, there it is right there. So depending on what base you actually put with this actual eyeshadow, it will determine what color you're going to get. I tried it out on a white base and it tends to give you more of the eyeshadow in the pan than if you put it underneath like a rose gold kind of base. Under, under a rose gold kind of base, it gives you more of a brown tone kind of eyeshadow. So it's definitely one of those eyeshadows that I am super excited to play around with. It's more of an all over the lid kind of color than in the crease, but I'm definitely excited to give this a try. The next thing is something that I received I believe, for Christmas or my birthday and um, it is an eyeshadow kit right here. This is all these nice colors. This is from Profusion. I'll swatch a few colors for you. Um, they're very pretty but I have no idea why I just never used it. So here are some of those colors. Look how pigmented they are. So these are more on the shimmery side so definitely we'll have to pair them with some matte shades. but. If you guys see these colors, let me know which colors you like to use, like me to use to do a tutorial because I'm excited to try these. The next thing is a palette, a big palette, a palette that I have never really reused. This is the Naked 2 from Urban Decay. Um, I love these shades. I've used a little bit of them. As you can see, I haven't given this palette that much love. So let me know if you guys want to see any tutorials on this. The next thing is a face product, which is from Wet n Wild, and this is the Center Stage Collection to Reflect Shimmer Palette by Fergie. And this can be used wet, or it can be used dry. And it's just a shimmer palette, kind of like a highlight. So I want to try to give this a little bit of a swirl. So it's more like on a goldy kind of tone, as you can see. This, I believe, would be beautiful on the actual eyelids. So I want to bust it out. The next thing is a blush quad, which is from City Color Cosmetics, which I also got from IMATS about a year ago. And this is the collection number three. They have all different collections. I tend to wear some of the same blushes, so I figured I need to bust out something different and give these a try. So you have a 
mauve kind of color, you have some pinks, and then you have more of like a baby kind of pink. So I want to give these a try. The next thing is a simple revitalizing eye roller. Um, I do tend to forget about this as well. It does make your eyes feel like super like hydrated underneath the eyes and it has a little roller ball. I love the cooling effect. This is something that I actually remember to use today. So definitely want to use that. The next thing is a foundation and this is a Rimmel Stat Liquid Mousse Foundation in Sand. I used this for a very long time after I got it. I even have a review on it. I'll link it down below. And I loved it. I love this nice liquid mousse foundation. It's very light weight very liquidy it's really um great on the skin gives you good coverage but i just forgot about it so definitely want to try this again the next thing is a pencil and it is like such a baby i need to get you know use it already this is the zero eyeliner from urban k and it's my favorite it's super black and amazing and i love it another pencil is from rimmel and this is the nude i've had this for a long time so need to get this going the next thing is another pencil, and this is a highlighter pencil, which I like to use underneath my brow bone, which I use it today, and it reminds me of how much I've missed this pencil. See, when you don't use products that you haven't used for a long time, and then you re-take them out again, you say, like, where have you been, my baby? I've missed you. I've missed you. So this is the highlighter pencil from Chella, and as you can see, I don't have that much left, but I definitely want to use this up. The next thing is a Hello Kitty... Um, jumbo pencil. I got this only in Christmas, but this is one of these um, eyeshadow crayons that you can just layer on your eyelid just for an every everyday look. And you can also lay all their eyeshadows on top of it. And this one is in the color Hot Cocoa, which I love this color. It's like a rose gold kind of color with some shimmer in it. So I feel like it's super pretty and girly. The next thing is a lip product, and this is from NYX, and this is a butter gloss and um, strawberry parfait I love the butter glosses I swear by them they're amazing I just need to start using them more and this is just a pink color the next thing, next thing is a clear brow setting gel from elf I have used already one side I just need to finish the other one and the last thing I have is an eyeshadow this is from Jackie Christie which is from one of the basketball wives from the show on VH1 which I actually met her she's really nice and this is an eyeshadow in the color Honey Love. I love this color. It is a nice coral kind of color. I'll swatch that for you there. So I love it. It's nice and pretty. It kind of matches my shirt a little bit. It's a really beautiful crease color. Um, I want to get some more looks with this. So let me know what ideas you guys have with this eyeshadow and any other stuff that I've mentioned. If you guys have some products that you have neglected as well, then go ahead and take them out and share this journey with me. And let's start using all the products that we've neglected and stop making them cry. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later.